Today, we're delving into a fascinating topic that's both impressive and crucial to our communities. Fire trucks. Ever wondered why fire trucks are so big and complex? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to unravel the mysteries behind the size, engines, manufacturers, and all the intricate details that make fire trucks the essential, powerful vehicles they are. To understand why fire trucks are so big and complex today, let's take a quick journey through the evolution of fire trucks. In the early days, firefighting relied on hand drawn pumpers and horse drawn steam engines. As urban areas grew, so did the need for more advanced firefighting equipment, leading to the development of motorized fire trucks. The evolution from simple pumpers to today's complex apparatus is a testament to the ever increasing demands of modern firefighting. One of the first things you notice about fire trucks is their sheer size. But why are they so big? Well, size matters in firefighting for several reasons. Larger trucks can carry more equipment, accommodate more crew members, and have increased stability, especially when dealing with heavy water loads. Later, we will look at some of the equipment the fire trucks carry, but now let's explore the various types of fire trucks and their specific sizes, from pumpers to ladder trucks and everything in between. Pumpers or fire engines typically range from 20 to 45 feet in length. They are the most common fire trucks, equipped with a pump to deliver water to hoses for initial fire suppression. Aerial ladder trucks can vary in size, ranging from 50 to over 100 feet. These trucks are equipped with a ladder, usually mounted on the top, and are used for firefighting and rescue operations in tall buildings, with the ladder extending to reach upper floors. Quint trucks, similar in size to pumpers, 20 to 45 feet, are versatile, combining functions such as a pump, water tank, hose storage, ground ladders, and an aerial device. They serve as multi-purpose fire apparatus. Tanker trucks or tenders vary in size, with smaller ones starting around 20 feet and larger ones exceeding 40 feet. They transport large quantities of water to areas without a readily available water supply, playing a crucial role in rural firefighting. Rescue trucks with sizes often ranging from 20 to 40 feet carry specialized equipment for rescue operations, including extrication tools, medical equipment, and hazardous materials response gear. Wildland fire engines are typically smaller, 15 to 25 feet, designed for off-road use. They are specifically built for fighting wildfires in challenging terrain, equipped with water, hoses, and gear suitable for wildland firefighting. Airport crash trucks ARF, can vary in size but are often larger, with some exceeding 40 feet. These specialized vehicles respond to aircraft emergencies at airports, carrying large amounts of firefighting foam for extinguishing jet fuel fires. Hazmat trucks ranging from 20 to 40 feet are equipped to handle hazardous materials incidents. They carry specialized equipment for identifying, containing, and mitigating chemical spills and releases. But how big are the engines and fire trucks? Fire trucks necessitate high power outputs to navigate through traffic, climb hills, and operate essential equipment efficiently. The horsepower and torque figures of fire truck engines are crucial in emergency situations because they directly influence the vehicle's ability to respond swiftly and effectively to incidents. Most fire trucks have around 400 to 600 horsepower where the smaller fire trucks can have from 250 to 400 horsepower. Also, the transmission system and gearing play pivotal roles in optimizing the engine's power delivery to the wheels. Efficient transmission ensures smooth power transfer, aiding in maneuverability and responsiveness. Proper gearing allows fire trucks to achieve the right balance between acceleration, top speed, and the ability to handle challenging terrains. The world of fire trucks isn't one size fits all. Fire departments often collaborate with manufacturers to design custom trucks tailored to their specific needs. But here is some of the biggest fire truck manufacturers. Pierce Manufacturing, a prominent player in the industry, specializes in custom fire apparatus. We'll discuss their innovative designs, cutting edge technology, and the impact they've had on the evolution of fire trucks. 
Rosenbauer International As one of the largest fire apparatus manufacturers globally, Rosenbauer International has a significant footprint in the industry. They cater to the diverse needs of fire departments worldwide. Also, manufacturers like Sutfen, Spartan ERV, E1, and so on are some big players. But it's not just about size and power, but also functionality. So, let's take a look at the fire truck's equipment. Fire trucks are equipped with an arsenal of tools and gear designed to handle a wide range of emergencies. Common equipment includes a water pump and tank for firefighting, hoses and nozzles for water delivery, various ladders for access, aerial devices for elevated operations, breathing apparatus for smoke-filled environments, rescue tools for extrication, medical equipment for basic care, hazardous materials, hazmat gear for incidents involving dangerous substances, foam systems for flammable liquid fires, and lighting and power tools for various tasks. These tools collectively enable firefighters to address a diverse array of emergency situations. As we wrap up our exploration, let's emphasize the critical role fire trucks play in emergency response. From structure fires to hazardous materials incidents, fire trucks are at the forefront of keeping our communities safe. In conclusion, fire trucks are more than just vehicles. They're essential tools for firefighters, equipped to handle a wide array of emergencies. Their size, engines, manufacturers, gear, and equipment all contribute to their effectiveness in ensuring public safety. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more content. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the intricacies of fire trucks. Stay safe, and until next time. Before you go, share your thoughts in the comments below. What aspect of fire trucks fascinates you the most? And if there's another topic you'd like us to cover in future videos, let us know. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.